Hi, this is Julie from Totally Holistic Health and I just wanted to share this really nice, gentle um, yoga for sleep practice with you. Um, you can do actually do it in your bed if you're wanting to, if you're trying to get ready for, um, for sleep. Uh, obviously you can do it in your bedroom or on the floor or you can do it wherever you feel like doing it. Um, it's quite good to have a couple of blankets or, or towels you can use as well. You don't actually need to use a yoga mat at all. You can just have a designated space on your floor. Maybe just put a towel down on the floor or just do it on the carpet or, as I said, even in the bed. Um, it's quite good to have a pillow as well just to add a little bit of support because um, we need that for a couple of poses as well. So if you want to go and get yourself a pillow, maybe just pause me for a couple of seconds. So we're going to start off by allowing ourselves to come into a nice upright position. So we're going to sit down to start off with. So if you want to maybe come onto a pillow that you have, and we're just going to come into a comfortable seat. So, you know, if you are if you are uncomfortable crossing your legs, you can just allow your legs to come out in front of you. You can maybe kneel. Um, it really depends on how comfortable you feel with your legs crossed. So we're just going to spend a couple of moments just to allow ourselves to become nice and still. So um, what we're trying to do is just calm the body down, just really start cooling the body, just really rely on the mind just to relax, just to sort of get ourselves really ready for a nice relaxing sleep. So all these poses will allow the body to um, reset itself, will allow the sympathetic nervous system just to switch off, um, let the parasympathetic nervous system just kick in, just allow everything to just start to slow down a little bit. So we're just going to check into ourselves first of all. So it's quite nice just to maybe set an intention for this practice. So maybe saying into your head that this is your time, this next 15, 20 minutes or so. It's just your time to focus on yourself, to get yourself ready for bed. So if you want to close your eyes. Just gently breathing in and out through the nose if you can. And just see if you can allow your breath to slowly become slower and deeper. So try not to force it at all. Just to see if you can just allow it to become soft. And then slowly, if you have got your eyes shut, we're going to open them. I'm going to introduce you into something called a square breath, which is a really, really lovely way of just calming the whole of your body down. It's a really good way of taking control of how you breathe. A lot of times you tend to find that, uh, you know, if you are stressed, you'll find that your breath becomes quite short or a little bit stilted. So this is a really nice way of just taking control of that breath and it's 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 a very visual breath but it's also it's a you can also use a counting method as well which is also equally as good. So it's quite a common one to use in yoga. But what we're going to try to do is imagine that your torso is like a square. So if you can imagine we're starting off at the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to just that's one side of your square. Second side is across your chest going down towards your left hip is your third side and then your bottom and around across the bottom is your fourth side so we're going to breathe in for a count of four and we're going to hold that breath for a count of four we're going to breathe out for a count of four and then you're going to hold that out breath for a count of four if you are suffering from anxiety or you're asthmatic i would probably avoid this breath and just carry on breathing normally so the, the holding the out breath is probably the hardest part because you're not you're not going to breathe back in again and straight away you're just going to hold an out breath of four so again just try to relax the shoulders we're going to just breathe in for that count of four so just trying to visualize moving up your side of your square so breathing in for four holding for a count of four Breathing out for a count of four and holding in, 
hold. Out. Hold. And we're going to do one more round of self reach. And just slowly bringing your breath back to normal breathing. If you do have difficulty with that one, you can also count on your fingers if you can't visualize the square in your torso. So just counting one, two, three, four on your fingers. Again, it's quite a nice calming way of breathing anyway. So again, if you're suffering from anxiety in the day, just try breathing on your counting on your fingers. It's very useful. So what we're going to try to do is cool down the body, just stretching out a little bit, just getting out those kinks. Obviously, a lot of people tend to be sort of quite sedentary at the moment, so they're sitting down a lot. So it's just a nice way of just stretching out all those kinks and, um, you know, tight muscles just before you actually relax into bed. So we're just going to come onto our hands and knees first of all. So if you do need to pop a blanket or anything underneath your knees, just to protect your knees, you can do. So make sure that your feet are about hip width, your knees are about hip width apart, and your hands are nicely spread. So if you do have issues with your wrists, just make sure you really, really make sure your fingers are nicely spread out. So you're just pressing your fingertips into the floor. And we're going to just release the spine by dropping the belly down towards the floor, bring the head up, breathing in. Pushing away from the floor, dropping the head down between your arms, breathing out. Breathing in, belly drops down. And out. Pushing away from the floor. So just do a very gentle cat cows just to release your spine, breathing in as your belly drops down. Breathing out as you're pushing away from the floor. So just use your own breath. Slowly, just releasing your spine, pushing away, and coming down into a nice neutral spine. We're just going to curl our toes under and gently push ourselves up into a downward dog. So again, you can do this on your bed. Equally, you can do this on your floor. So just stretching out the backs of the legs. Just maybe bringing the weight from one side to the other. Really nice. And just relaxing, soothing on your nervous system. And then slowly we're going to bend our knees and just walk our hands towards our feet. Come into a forward fold. So if you are on a bed, you can have the wall behind you just to rest your bottom on. So this is actually our first pose. It's actually called um, a ragdoll pose or dangling. So if you are, um, if you do have issues with your back, just make sure as you put a nice strong bend in your knees. If you are on a bed, as I said, you can just relax your bottom towards a wall if you are in your bedroom. Again, if you have a handy wall, you can just rest your bottom on there. Just make sure your feet are slightly further away. So I'm using my wall here. I'm going to just allow my arms just to dangle down. So this is a really restorative pose, really relaxing on the whole of your body. So we're going to stay here just for maybe three or four breaths, first of all. So we're not going to be too much stress on your legs if you're suffering from weak legs. Just breathing in and out. Gently bring your hands back onto the floor, just moving away from the wall if you're resting your bottom on the wall. And slowly walking the hands away back into that downward dog. We're going to bring our knees onto the floor. Okay, so we're going to use our handy pillows. Obviously, if you're in the bedroom, you've got a bed. Um, if you're in the bed, you've got your pillow handy. So we're going to bring the pillow so it's nice and long onto our um, 
uh, on the floor onto the mat or wherever you are. So we're going to bring our right hip just so it's resting just onto the edge of your pillow. So it's sort of like we're going to be sort of straddling a little bit. So we're just going to bring your left leg, or sorry, your right leg, sorry, your left leg is here, but your right leg is there. And we're going to turn our chest just to raise, rest ourselves onto our pillow. So it's a gentle twist, bringing the arms either side of the pillow and just turning your head either away from where your bent legs are or towards. So just slowly adding a gentle twist into the lower back. So this is more of a restorative pose, which is allowing ourselves just to calm down, stretching our lower back, just releasing the hips a little bit here as well. So I'm just going to continue to breathe. If you find that your mind just goes wandering off, just see if you can bring it back to noticing your breath. Just really feel yourself sinking into the pillow, into the floor, into your bed. Slowly, we're going to push ourselves back up. So it's taking your time. If you've been sort of folded over a pillow for a while, so you're going to be a little bit tight. So just taking your time coming up. There's no rush. So we're just going to do the same again. I'm actually going to turn my, turn my pillow around so it's facing this way, so you can see better what I'm doing. So now I've got it resting towards my right hip. I'm just going to bring my right shin so it's level with the long side of my mat, and then bring my left leg behind me so it's a bit like a straddle so I'm going to turn the whole of my chest so it's facing on towards my pillow and just allow my chest just to come down so see, depending on how tight your back is you might find that you won't be able to twist around quite so well or more but again the main thing is if there's any pain just just adjust your pillow so it's in more of a comfortable position just resting your arms again you're not pushing into this pose you're just allowing the body just to sink down and just again focusing on that breath. And then very slowly again, just pushing yourself up, just easing yourself back onto your hands and knees. Again, moving that pillow out of the way, just coming back onto your hands and knees. 
Okay, now we're going to move the hips from side to side again. So again, go all fours, nice tabletop, moving the hips gently from side to side just to release the lower back. So again, we're just trying to iron out any kinks here, any aches and pains, just to allow us to rest into a lovely, gentle sleep. Okay, wonderful. So we're going to do a gentle stretch now in the legs. So if you have got a blanket, you might want to bring your bottom onto that blanket. And then if you've got another spare handy blanket as well, it's useful to have that as well because we need to roll up into a little bit of a sausage. Okay, so we're going to come into a seated position. So we're going to bring your right um, foot into your left shin. Sorry, right foot into your left thigh. So it doesn't matter too much how high up your leg goes. So if you're feeling it's more easy to put it there, that's absolutely fine. If you find that this knee is way up there though, you can use your pillow just to pop it underneath the knee to give it a bit of support. The straight leg, you'll need something underneath there as well, just to make sure you don't hyperextend that knee. So we're gonna do a gentle stretch over that straight knee. So we're just gonna turn your body so it's, it's facing your straight leg. So if you want to start off, you can also just have that knee really, really bent. That's absolutely fine. But we're going to just slowly allow ourselves just to come into a forward fold over that knee. If you have got it straightened out again, it doesn't matter. But we're not trying to bring our nose down to our knee or anything silly like that. We're just allowing the gravity to allow us to pull down. So you might find it's a little bit of a stretch in the lower back. If that is the case, I would probably make sure that my knee is bent a little bit more and just... Bring my hands either side of my foot. So just really notice any aches and pains and pulling. If it's pulling too much, just bend the knee a little bit more. I'm going to stay here for, again, a few breaths. So you might find as your body releases that tension, you might be able to slide your straight leg a little bit more straight. Just allow yourself to come forward. So again, we're not forcing our body at all, we're just using the gravity and our breath to slowly release. Now as slowly as we can come down to this pose, we're going to ease ourselves up. So we need to do a little bit of a counter pose for this one. So we're going to just bring your right arm behind you. Slowly bring your left arm overhead, just gently stretching out the opposite direction. So just enjoy that lovely sensation of opening up the chest. And then gently come back to centre. So we're going to do the same on the second side. So move your pillow over. Again, there's no rush to move into different sides. Just take your time. If you feel you want to stay in one position more than the other, that's absolutely fine. Just pause this video. So you're going to bring your left foot into your right thigh, popping something underneath that straight leg. And again, if you find that your left knee is way up here, just popping a blanket or a pillow underneath there just to give it a bit of support is perfect. So we're going to turn towards our straight leg again. So just, you know, if you're feeling tight in the back, Keep the leg bent. I mean, we're not going to force ourselves into this pose. We're just allowing ourselves just to breathe into it, relax the whole body. Anything that's a forward fold is fantastic for just calming the whole body system down. 
So just noticing how that feels as you're slowly coming forward. So again, if it's pinching at all in your back, just bend your knee a little bit. Just allow the head just to drop down. So it's really just, we're just folding forward, just very gently, just relieving everything's really heavy. Just finding the gravity is pulling everything down towards the floor. And the main thing is, you know, you don't have to be anywhere, you don't have to do anything, you just have to focus on yourself. Just enjoy it. Enjoy that fact that you're breathing, you're releasing. Just give yourself permission to release. And very slowly again, just easing yourself out of this. Don't force yourself to come up really quickly. And then gently, we're going to bring the left arm behind us. Just sweeping it overhead. Gently stretching out the right side. And then coming back to centre. So we're going to come onto our backs now. So if you want to, if you haven't got, um, if you're on your bed and you want to put a blanket underneath it, you can. It's absolutely fine. When we're at it, it's comfort at all times, so if you just need to get something underneath your on the floor, that's fine. We're going to have our knees nicely bent, and we're going to come into a very gentle twist. Again, just to relieve the back. If you want to pop a pillow or a cushion or a blanket underneath your head, you can do. Just try to have the knees nicely bent. Feet are about hip width apart, and your arms can be resting by your side. Or if you want to get a stronger stretch in your chest, you can bring your arms just level with your chest. We do cactus arms. So we're just going to bring both our feet over to the right side of our mat a little bit. So maybe a couple of heel toes over to the right. And then we're going to allow both our knees just to drop out to the left. So this is quite a strong stretch on the right side of the body all the way down the outside of that right leg. So again, just be mindful of your back. If it starts to twinge, just popping um, a blanket or a pillow underneath that left knee will probably help relieve it a little bit so you're not bringing too much pressure on the spine. And again, focusing on your breath. Just notice how your body feels. Just notice the sensations that are happening in the body. Are you Feeling any pain, discomfort? Is it really tight in certain areas? Just making note of that, as long as there's no pain. Focusing on that breath, just allow the breath to become slow and deep.
Yeah, so then I'm going to bring both our knees back to centre. So just engage the core a little bit. So bring the belly back towards the spine. Slowly allow the knees to come back to centre. And then we're going to just move both our feet slightly over to the left side of our mats. And just bring both our knees just to drop out to the right. So again, you've got a nice strong stretch on the left side, all the way down the left side of the leg. Just being careful of how that feels in the back. If you need to put something underneath your knees, just to give them a little bit of support, that's fine. Good, now slowly, I'm just going to pull the belly back towards the spine, ease those knees back up to centre. And we're going to just make sure the back is nicely engaged into the floor, we're going to bring the knees into the chest. So just slowly rocking a little bit from side to side, just maybe rolling the knees around just to give that lower back a nice gentle massage. So the next Pose is really a most fantastic one for helping with sleep. Um, so if you've got um, a bed, um, a, sorry, a wall just behind your bed, again you can use that. If you're um, you're on your floor next to your bed, you can use your bed as a prop. Um, or if you have a wall nearby that you can use, again I'd probably advise using a wall. So we're just going to turn ourselves. We'll come up to sitting first. We're just going to turn ourselves so we're sideways onto our wall, our supporting wall. So again, if you are next to your bed, you can have the bed to the side. It's also good to make sure you've got a spare pillow as well. So we're just going to come as close as we can to our wall or the bedpost or the um, side of the bed and slowly just turn ourselves around so that our back is on the floor, but our feet are either on the wall behind your bed or you've got your legs you can hook over your bed. So you've got a nice incline here so it's a nice very restorative type of pose so this is itself is very relaxing however if you want to have a little bit more of um, an upside down you can just get your pillow just push your feet into the wall raise your bottom up and put your pillow underneath your lower back and again just allow your legs just to come and rest on that wall so any inversion or anything where you're upside down is just really restorative. It just allows the whole of the body just to relax. It's also really good because all your blood flow is flowing out of your feet down into your body. So it's just really flushing the whole of your body with fresh blood. It's really good for helping with your immune system as well. So this is a really lovely pose. It's probably one that is the ultimate for helping with sleep and insomnia. So even if you don't do anything else, just doing this for 10 to 15 minutes before you go to bed will really help. And arms, you can either just rest them by your side, palms up, or just rest them on your tummy. And again, you can stay here as long as you need to. We're probably going to stay here for about four or five minutes, but if you do feel you want to stay a little bit longer, again, as long as you want, as long as you need, it's absolutely fine.
to gently ease out of this one you can stay in this pose as long as you need to so if you want to just pause the video now that's fine but to come out of this we're just going to bring the knees in towards the chest again just to release the spine and we're going to roll onto one side so if you are in your bed then you can just get yourself nice and comfortable if you are on the floor or near your bed again this would be quite a nice time to get yourself ready for bed and we're just going to come and rest in shavasana if you want to bring a pillow underneath your knees you can do so just allow yourself to come and rest so we're going to do an active relaxation now um, so once we've done this i'm going to just spend a couple of minutes with the breath and then i'm going to allow the movie to the video to finish so if you do feel that you um, just, just basically let this run, so don't feel you need to turn it off because I won't be coming back up from here. I'll just allow you just to come into your gentle sleep and slumber. So just get yourself nice and comfortable and make sure you're warm and snug. And we're just focusing on our breath now. So just noticing that breath moving in and out. Bring our awareness now to our feet. So what I want you to do is just slowly push the heels away, really tense the toes up towards the ceiling so you've got a nice stretch in all your toes and your feet. Keep your breath really steady and just allow that stretch to reach up towards the sky, the sky and the ceiling. And then gently release those feet and allow the feet just to flop out and become relaxed. to our calf muscles so I just want you to imagine you're trying to pull the calf muscles up towards the bones so really tense in the calf muscles of drawing them up towards the shins and again you will engage the feet as well at the same time as doing this so just really tense in your calves and your feet and keep that tension going really relaxing the rest of your body just feeling that tension in the lower limbs and gently releasing them down so just imagine that your calves and your feet are nicely relaxed keeping your breath going now to bring the awareness to our the upper limbs of our legs so just we're going to tense the thighs and the buttocks so just try to really clench those buttocks tense up those thigh muscles just again really gripping them tight keeping your breath steady though so don't hold your breath keep that breath steady as you're really tensing those thighs and gently release just allow them to become really heavy so the whole of your lower limbs your calves and your feet are just gently relaxed on the floor Now we're going to ask you to bring your awareness to your belly. So I want you to pull your belly in towards your spine, just like a corset, just trying to keep the pressure on the lower back and the belly, just drawing them in, but keeping the breath steady. And then gently relax. Just allow your belly to become soft. And your lower back just to sink into the bed or the floor. Now we're going to draw those shoulders up towards your ears. So just really pull the shoulders up as far as they will go towards your ears. Again, keep the breath steady. Just keep the tension on those shoulders. And gently relax. Just allow them to slide away from your ears. I'm going to ask you now just to clench your hands into a fist. So really tensing them up really tight walls and fists and then stretching your fingers away from you just bringing the thumb and the forefinger and all the fingers really stretched nice and 
wide and then relax your hands. I'm going to ask you just to slide your shoulders away from your ears and just pulling the shoulders down but at the same time just tensing your upper arms, your forearms and your fingers stretching them all away from you. Really, really tensing those arms and the shoulders, keep the breath steady. And then slowly allowing them just to flop down on your bed. Really heavy. So keeping your back of your head on the floor, on the bed, on the bed, on the floor. We're just going to slowly tilt your chin down towards your chest. So you're just getting a little bit of a stretch in the back of your neck. So keep the head on the floor or the pillow or the bed. And then gently releasing the head, just allow the chin to come back away from the chest. And now I'm going to ask you to tense your mouth. So I'm going to ask you to really pull the mouth really wide, like a really big yawn. And relax your jaw. awareness to your eye sockets in the forehead. Now I want you to clench your eyes really tight. Just draw the forehead down towards your eyes. Really tense the top of your head. Keep that pressure on but also keep breathing at the same time. And gently relaxing your eyes and your forehead. Just allow them to become really soft. Okay so we're going to go for one last full stretch. So keeping your head on the floor or the bed or the pillow. I want you to tense your feet as far away from your head as you can. So push your heels away, really stretching away. And I want you to stretch your arms away from your head towards your feet. Tensing your fingers, your feet, your head's moving away from your feet and your arms. Really keep that pressure on, keeping the breath steady. Oh, gently just allow everything to just relax and become really heavy onto your bed or your floor. And focusing on that breath, just allow the breath to release, gently moving in and out. And slowly now, I'm just going to let this video run, or just stop itself. I'm not going to come up into a seated position to finish off this practice, so just myself to stay resting on your bed. I hope you have a good night's sleep. Namaste.